Good day everybody, welcome to another Affinity Photo tutorial. This week I'm going to talk about reflections and shadows. The first thing we're going to do today is create our background. This is a little trick that you can do to create a really stunning looking background. So this is the photo I've chosen for my background this week and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take the sky part of this video and I'm going to flip it. So let's get started. The first thing we want to do is get our, our rectangular marquee tool, just the square one here. And just starting in the corner here, we are just going to mark it out. And I only want the sky. So I'm just going to go all the way down until just on that horizon there. And then I'm going to let it go. Over on here on the background, I am actually going to unlock the background. And now I'm going to come down to the mask and I'm going to add a mask. So now I've only got the background here. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on the background. Remember, we don't have it locked. And I'm going to go Command J and click on this bottom copy of the background. I'm going to come up here to Arrange and I'm going to come up here to Flip Vertical. And there you go, it's giving us an exact copy. So let's get rid of those marching ants with Command D on the keyboard. And as you can see, it's not quite lined up. So we're just going to come up here to our arrow. Got this one already highlighted here. Just going to drag that down a little bit. And then just drag it up until it snaps into place. There we go, make sure you've got snapping turned on. You can see now that we've got a really good horizon there. So there we go, we've got our background sorted. So now we are going to talk about shadows and reflections. And the image I'm going to use this week is this old man on a bench. So I'm just going to copy, Command C and Command V to paste him into the photo here. We can resize him, of course, any way you like and position him wherever you like in the photo. So, so let's start with a reflection first. Let's take the man that we've just pasted in here and then Command J again for him. Back up to the top to arrange and again flip vertical. And all we have to do is drag him down and position him for the reflection come over here to our opacity and bring that all the way down I sort of think about 20 gives a really nice reflection now there is a little bit of cleaning up to do so you can do that at your leisure and already on the man here and on the shadow I've already created masks so you can use your mask tool and your brush and you can zoom in and clean up some of that areas that shouldn't be there. So you can do that at your leisure. So that is a really good start for a reflection. Takes a little bit of cleanup. So what if you wanted just to make the reflection a shadow though? We can come back over here and click on the background that we created. Make sure you're actually on the background picture, not on the mask. So on the background. Come up here to FX if you have a look at FX in your layers palette here and we can hit color overlay and the color is black. That creates more of the shadow look rather than the reflection. So guys that is how you create reflections or shadows in an Affinity Photo. It's fairly easy and straightforward. As I said it requires a little bit of cleanup but uh, you can do that at your leisure. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this really quick tutorial this week on reflections and shadows. Any questions, please leave them in the comments below. As usual, if you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up and please consider subscribing. And until next time, I'll say to you, be brave, go out and do something amazing. We'll see you in the next video.